Twins hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 129 on the money line. The Red Sox are minus 151. The over-under is nine runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 150, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 130, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Garza pitched once against the Twins this year. Two innings, no runs, no earned. They won that game 9-3. to three. That was in Minnesota, and he struck out three. So it looks like the Red Sox are going to decide to go bullpen game. Ryan pitched once against the Red Sox this year. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game 10-4 to four in 10 innings. He struck out three. The Twins are 4-6 and six as a team in Ryan's last 10 starts. He's averaging 5 and 2 thirds innings pitched and 6.2 strikeouts per game in those games, so you may want to keep an eye on his K line. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is 6-4. and four. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the game they played against each other yesterday. The over is 9-1, and one, and the over 9 is 7-1-2 and two in their last 10. The game they played yesterday, the Twins won 5-4. The game before that, the Red Sox won 10-4. The game before that, the Red Sox won 9-3. The game before that, the Red Sox won 11-5. The game before that, the Twins won 10-4. And the game before that, the Red Sox won 5-4. In their last handful of games overall, the Red Sox are 7-3 in their last 10 games. The over-under is 5-5 in their last 10. They are 3-1 in their last 4. And 6-1 in their last 7. 5 runs, 12 runs, 14 runs, and 9 runs. 4 runs and a win, 9 runs and a win. 10 runs and a win, 4 runs and a loss. For the Twins, they are 4 and 6 in their last 10. The over is 8 and 2 in their last 10. They are 1 and 3 in their last 4. 10 runs, 12 runs, 14 runs and 9 runs. 4 runs and a loss, 3 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a loss, 5 runs and a win. I know that this seemingly should seem like a slam dunk for the Twins, but the Red Sox have been playing well. The Twins have been struggling. And it is difficult for teams to win four consecutive games in a series. So I'm going to take the Red Sox with the money line. The Red Sox getting the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.